Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today the question is, do polygraphs really work? So a polygraph is also known as a lie detector. And this is an instrument that measures heart rate, respiration, and a concept called skin conductivity. And the idea behind a polygraph is that these physiological reactions change when somebody's lying. So in theory, somebody using a polygraph can detect if someone's telling the truth or if they're lying. The problem with the polygraph is there's very little evidence to suggest that it works. So in order for a polygraph to work, there would have to be some physiological pattern associated with the concept of deception, meaning individuals who are trying to be deceptive display a certain set of physiological characteristics. They're in some way identifiable and observable. And that's not the case. We may be able to observe physiological reactions, but there's no pattern associated with someone who's lying. So regardless of how accurate the polygraph measures the different physiological reactions, if those reactions aren't tied to deception, the test isn't going to work. So the idea behind the polygraph in terms of the way it's structured is this idea that you have these control questions and then you have these questions related to the reason the person is there for the polygraph. And if someone's telling the truth, they'll have a stronger reaction to the control questions and less of a reaction to the relevant questions. And if they're lying, the opposite would be true. Of course, this is not what we find. Another difficulty with the polygraph is that there are effective countermeasures to these devices and to the utilization of these devices. And countermeasures include some sort of physical movement, some sort of psychological training, like actively thinking thoughts that will help navigate a polygraph, changing one's belief about whether they're lying or telling the truth. And some medications have also been shown to be effective at helping people beat polygraphs. So you don't know, in theory, if you're operating a polygraph, if someone is using these countermeasures, which again speaks to the reliability and the validity of a polygraph. So when we think about reliability and validity, of course, we need reliability in order to establish validity. So reliability is how consistent something measures. Well, polygraphs do measure physiological reactions relatively consistently, but the underlying construct speaks to validity, and they don't measure the underlying construct of deception very well. So they're not valid. So they may be reliable in terms of what they measure, but they're not valid in terms of actually detecting deception. So what does the evidence say about their accuracy? Well, we can think about accuracy in a few different ways when it comes to a polygraph. So polygraphs are designed, in theory, to detect lies. So if a lie is detected, we would call that a positive result. And if the polygraph operator determines there was not a lie, we would call that a negative result. So there are four different scenarios here that can happen. Someone comes in who's actually lying, and the polygraph indicates they are lying. This is a true positive. So in reality, they were lying, and the machine indicated they were lying. You could also have someone who comes in who's honest, who's not lying, and the machine says they're lying. That's a false positive. So there you have a true positive and a false positive. So then we have the other side, which is the negative side. So that's when a polygraph indicates that someone's telling the truth. So someone who is actually telling the truth is detected as telling the truth. That would be a true negative. They weren't really lying, and the machine says they weren't really lying. Now, if somebody comes in and they are lying, and the polygraph says they're not, that's a false negative. So when we think about the accuracy of these machines, it's more likely individuals would be concerned with the idea of a false positive. That would be accusing someone who's telling the truth of lying. When it comes to this area, 
the area of false positives. The accuracy of polygraphs is really very close to chance. So you could flip a coin, you have a you 50-50 know, chance of heads or tails. That's pretty much where you are with false positives. Polygraphs have a very high false positive rate. Now, they do a little better when it comes to true positives. So if somebody is lying, that's when the machine says they're lying, when it detects that lie. They are more accurate in that regard with true positives than they are with false positives. There's not much research around their accuracy in general, but we know when a machine or any type of detection method comes in close to chance, close to 50-50, that's not really something we've considered scientifically supported. There are not many studies on this topic to begin with, so there's really very little evidence to support polygraphs. And what there is, again, shows a very low accuracy in an area where we'd be most concerned about accuracy, that area of false positives. So why are polygraphs used if scientific evidence doesn't support their usage? Well, repeatedly, polygraphs have not really met the burden of proving that they work. And a lot of areas like the government, and, and some areas of the government, they're not allowed to be used in most criminal proceedings, and most court proceedings in general. And a lot of private companies, of course, avoid them, and there's many laws around how they can be used. However, there seems to be a fascination still in our society with the idea of detecting a lie. And the polygraph has a strong dramatic effect to it, meaning it's probably effective, an effective instrument for Hollywood or you know, making television shows or movies. It's just not an effective instrument in reality. There are studies that indicate that around two-thirds of Americans believe a polygraph is relatively valid. So I think that what's happened is the polygraph is fairly popular in the media, it's fairly popular in fiction, and this leaves an impression that it must be reliable and valid. The evidence simply doesn't support that. And therefore its usage is highly questionable in terms of what type of good will come from using it. One of the areas of polygraph usage that's the least studied is in screening candidates for employment, particularly like law enforcement employment or other highly sensitive employment. Again, here there's very few studies, very little evidence suggesting that they're effective for that. And yet that's one of the usages that's still maintained. Polygraphs are often still used for employment screening for sensitive positions. So, are polygraphs effective? Do they work? The evidence suggests that they don't. And again, there's different areas in terms of accuracy, but overall, polygraphs are not effective. They don't do what they're supposed to do. And even though the concept of lie detection may be highly interesting to a lot of people, a polygraph simply isn't the way to detect lies at least not based on the evidence we have now. However, researchers continue to work on this issue and perhaps an accurate lie detecting device or technique will someday be developed. I hope you found this description of lie detectors to be interesting. Thanks for watching.